Have no fear. <laughs> hey. Boop, boop, ba -doo 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 -doo. Count Draco is here, duck up. I'm with the Soya Sisters. Shout out to everybody in the Organic Nation and everybody in the Gargoyle Gang. They gang, they gang, gang, go to gang, 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 the gang. Tia! Gargoyle Gang, the gang, gang, the gang, 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 the gang. Tia! Gargoyle Gang, the gang, gang, the gang, 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 the gang, the bang, 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 the bang, bang, the bang. Let that freedom bang. Let the freedom bang. Let the freedom bang. Let the freedom bang. All right. All right. Now, shout out to everybody in the Organic Nation, everybody in the Gargoyle, and the gang, the gang, the gang, the gang, the gang, the gang, the gang. See ya. Appreciate everybody coming through, keeping it theatrical as ever. It's your boy, Mr. Organic. And you can read the neck and see that. Oh, yeah, I'm so proud to display that legendary piece. Shout out to my dog, Jerome James at Canvas Inc. If you're in this area or shit, it don't matter where you're at, come through. Get that work, man. Legendary individual. Look at my shit healed instantly. First day, look at that. Like Frankenstein. I didn't even bleed. I ain't even bleed. It ain't even look. Look, it's like it's a. Uh, is, it, is it a real tattoo? Who knows? But look at like, shit. They even bleed or nothing. It ain't no shame, no pillin' or nothing. How you do that? Come on, man. It's a secret, secret way he do his tattoos. But anyway, as you see by the thumbnail, man, I did something I haven't done in at least 12, 10 to 12 years, right? And um, like I said, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, doing different things. Expanding my horizons and actually humbling myself from different different avenues just to be, you know, more congruent with the with the with, the, with the, damn Mathena, what the fuck is he doing over there? With the regular um regular um per perception of life sometimes you gotta do that. Um like I said, I've been going away from designer wearing all the top level stuff. It's just like I really don't see no point. I don't see them giving back, I don't see them doing nothing for our communities or even, you know what I'm saying, our culture. And the culture is not only black people, inner city people. It's just the hip-hop culture more so than anything else. And that's the number one culture in the world. It's the number one export out of America is hip-hop music. Think about that. That's more than diamonds, gold, all that shit is hip-hop music. So you got to think about that. So I don't see those labels actually, you know, in, um, investing into the communities or even like sponsoring or giving partnerships with different, you know, um, uh, uh, rappers, athletes, or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Besides Louis Vuitton, shout out to them. But um, so basically, what I'm gonna show y'all right now is something I did today. I ain't did this in a long time. I went shopping, and um, so this is basically like a quick little shopping haul. Um, and I did something I ain't did in a long time. Like I said, it's kind of like different for me, man. But like I said, I want to try some different things and just equip that into my repertoire, man. So first and foremost, let me show you. I'm gonna be like, what three of them? Yeah, boom. I got some fucking Jordans. Can you believe that shit? Mr. Organic bought some Jordans. I'm so anti Jordan. I'm so anti nigga. I'd rather wear some motherfucking Chuck Taylors and Jordans. But these one caught my interest and I was like, fuck it, I ain't did this in a long time. Let me get a couple pairs. So I actually got two pairs. And I want to show you what I got. Today. So the first pair, if you can see by the box, it's looking like what? Looking a little reptilious, right? Gargoyle skin. Don't you see that? Okay, so looking kind of reptilious. So y'all probably know they just came out. And uh, they caught my eye. I'm like, man, it's like gargoyle skin. And uh, so boom, I got the snake skin 11s. Nice. With the nice little insole with the red. I like that, man. The bottoms are like the little red jump man at the bottom. The clear bottom soles. These are my favorite Jordans was the Levens, of course. The only real Jordans I like is, there's only two real pair, three. Three different pair of Jordans I like. I like the Levens, I like the ones, and I like the threes. That's it. The rest of them, I don't give a fuck about them. So if I'm gonna step back in the culture, I gotta step in with the ones I like first. Does that make sense? So it's like an off gray. It's not like a white, it's a light. And I'm saying like an ashy, like a dirty teeth gray type white type denture. And I'm saying that you got the reptilian skin. You understand me? And it kind of mixed with a little bit of viper type. And like I said, that clear bum bubble gum bottom set it off. Had a whole nother aspect. And that red scooch just give you that fine sway. And of course, I like low tops. I'm a low top foot nigga, man. You understand me showing off the motherfucking lethalness of my feet. So that's what I got. First and foremost, I got the snake skin 11s they don't look pretty proper man and um so i'm gonna enjoy them work for memorial day weekend catching the bitches eyes man you understand me and plus you know i'm an old nigga but shit i like them young hoes man get them good 19s good 20 get 21 bitches they like jordan they see them feet oh they want to stuff the rover aka the penis <laughs> so that's one pair man look at the box one more time box is legendary boom snake skin what are they called the air 
Jordan 11 Retro Low motherfucking snake skin motherfucker. Man. Um, snake skin motherfuckers. Now I got another box. What's it? Bam! Motherfucking another pair of Jordans. Got another pair of wear. Don't stare. I'm living there. My neck glare. Look at my dope. Ah, look at my neck, baby. Look at the TV says. Make sure you add him on Instagram, the real icon. You see that the boat? D A real icon. He got some legendary. He sent it to me. Me and my dog uh, Slim, and it's a tribute to Nip. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. It's very monumental because Nipsey Hussle did influence um, me and my dog Slim's grind. Even how I do my business, Ackerman comes from like a little Nipsey Hussle, like when he did a hundred dollar CD and all about you don't need everybody. You just need the real ones with you. So I did incorporate that into my business, and it helps me a lot. So. Like I said, salute to him. We continue this marathon for him. We used to be on our tour talking about how, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, he did it his own way. And um, when we did that tour, we invested our own money, went around the country in our own cars, you know what I'm saying, pay for our own tails, pay for our own gas, and we touched the people. Same thing like Nick was talking about, man. So, you know what I mean? He definitely influenced us a lot. So, from the past, it was crazy. So, we de I got definitely made a tribute piece to him. Shout out to my dog, a real icon. But the second pair I got, come on, man. And I don't know, I, like I said, I ended up to dating all this shit, but I just thought he was cool because it got, it incorporates my, two of my favorite covers and it's like flipping around. Bam! Woo! Now, Jordan 1s. Look at these joints. Like I said, I don't be knowing what they is, you know? Let me see what they call because I don't be knowing all this shit, man. I ain't no shoot nigga. Like, I mean, I'm a fly nigga, I ain't no shoe head, none of that gay weird shit. So, when I saw these, they caught my eye because the writing on them. I like the one style, this is how they sit so properly. You wear jeans or even shorts. That's a good, nice infrastructure of a shoe. And of course, they got that neon fluorescent on there, I like that. Then they got to flip it and then switch sides to the other neon fluorescent. See how it goes, two different check marks? That's dope. Two different colors up top, now that's ferocious. With the writing all over, come on man, very, very, very detailed and I like that shit. It's real extra, just like me. So that's why I like this shoe. I saw it online, like, let me go see about them. They said they had them, so I went to go grab them. So at least the Jordan 1s. I like the Jordan 1s and the Jordan 11s. My favorite uh, Jordan shoes. And I ain't bought none in 10, what, 12 years, man. So like I said, man, I'm walking back into the, you know, regular shoe culture, you know what I'm saying? I'm off that designer shit for the most part. So if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it my way. And I ain't gonna be caught up in the hype beast and I gotta get the no latest ones and all that. I'm not gonna be caught up in that. I just wanna get, in, get into what I like, the style I like, and uh, the colors I like and shit like that, man. So I like the 11s, I like the 3s, and I like the 1s. So this is my first time buying Jordans in a while. And they're only gonna be outrageous. So I got the snake skins and I got the Jordan 1 retros with the all over moves. Y'all probably, what are these bitches called? Y'all know, comment below, y'all know what these called. And I like, I lost a little hint of that blue right there. See, that's, that's dope. That's a real feng shui type situation, man. And plus, you know what I'm saying? I like how these joints sit on my feet and then the color coordination, the different vibrance all around there, man. I like all that, man. I like it's all the Jordan logos or something. It, it's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? I like the way these joints is motherfucking color coordinated and the way they're positioned and how they're gonna look good on my foots, man. I'm gonna fuck pussy in this, man. So, basically, man, I got the Jordan 1s and the Jordan 11s, you know what I'm saying? This is an off gray, like I said, dirty denture mouth with the white, black, and neon fluorescent both colors. I think these are dope shoes. Um, um, I think these was 185, you know, thanks. Thank God I live in Minnesota, because Minnesota, uh, if y'all don't know, Minnesota has no sales tax on clothing and, and apparel and shit like that. Isn't that dope? So whenever you buy like clothing in the malls or stores, whatever that is on the tag, it's how much So this is 185, I think these is only like 110. So that's a good price. So shit, $295, you got two pair of dope Jordans. You know what I'm saying? My speed, I don't know. They might be whack to y'all. These ain't the real job. These cool to me, man. I don't even, I know I'm gonna make them look fly. I know I'm gonna put pussy in them. So I don't, I don't know about what y'all gonna do, nigga. So you can say what you wanna say, but I guarantee you how I put them joints together with my ensemble, with my Miss Organic wear, y'all gonna love it, man. So that's what I got, man. I just got two new pair of shoes, boom. Definitely ready for Memorial Weekend, so I'll get a great king of downtown, holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Count Draco season has begun. Make sure you go to stockandbarrel.com. You know what I'm saying? Order you buy some guns. Come to the Stock and Barrel Club in at Egan and also Chanhassen, get some shooting. And if you see me, I got free passes for you, man. Matter of fact, just tell them Mr. Organic sends you. 
sent you and they get, let you shoot for free for the first time. Do that for me, do it for yourself. So other than that, man, hey, Mr. Motherfucking Organ, the most nutritious individual on the planet. Do you see the neck? Boom, huh? Is it diesel? Get the dieselness out of that day. Shut the chest. Get up in the chair, motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes I get overzealous, pardon me. But listen up, man. I got a thing over there. How you doing, Bean Agrina? She chilling. So I'm gonna take her on a nice little walk. Got some new shoes. Hope y'all didn't like them. If you don't, hey, I don't give a goddamn. Comment below and let me know if you're rocking with them Jordans. Like I said, I'm stepping away from the designer stuff as much as I can. Trying to integrate, you know, just cool, normal, uh, common ground sneakers, common ground pamphlets. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. Paying 185 and, and $110 for some shoes is like, I ain't did this shit in so long. It's like pennies to how I used to shop. Like I never got shoes that was under $500, $600, $700, $800. So this shit is like, you know what I'm saying? Tell you the truth, it's like, oh, like a regular pair of Gucci's that I just buy on the Humble be 650, 600, something like that. So this is kind of like cool, tell you the truth. It's like a game. I'll be like, damn, that's it. But um, there you go, man. There you have it, man. Oh, you want your Organic Nation stickers? I got them for your car, car decals. Organic Nation, make sure you go to organiclifestyle.com. Get the merch, man. I appreciate everybody that's continued to support me. We're going to continue to go and grow. Make sure you hit that like, comment below, and let me know if you're messing with the campaign. Stream all the music. Music links are below in the description. Click that little description. Ooh, it's going to drop down. All the music links is below for you. Just to let you know, I'm Mr. Organic, the most ferocious, purest individual on the planet. Stay tuned for the more, for, for more uh, King of Downtown vlogs. I'm going to go out to a day party. It's going to be legendary. Um, more Count Draco vlogs. Um, tattoo vlogs, I'm gonna get more tattoos, so stay tuned to that, getting my hands done, you know what I'm saying, get the back of my neck done. It's gonna be a lot of stuff going on, man, so I appreciate y'all, man. Keep it pure, keep it prophetic, man. Mr. Motherfucking Organic, the gun guy, nigga. Fuck around with these niggas, man. Dude.